<laughs> there are only two kinds of people in the world, mystics and mistakes. If your perception has made a mistake, you are a mystic. If your perception has gone beyond the mistakes and beginning to see life just the way it is, then you are a mystic, to put it very simply. Am I being too cruel to you? <laughs> Am I being too cruel to you? If you want me to tell pretty things, I can say I'm capable. I can say nice, thing, nice things about people. But uh, if you want to know, the sooner you knock out all the nonsense in you, the better it is. If you're… if you're genuine, wanting to know, then you must knock out all the nonsense today, not tomorrow. If your perception is changing at different times of your life, obviously what you did yesterday or how you saw life yesterday was a mistake, what you was doing now is the right thing. But suppose this changes tomorrow, this was a mistake, tomorrow is the right thing. Isn't this happening all the time? So there's a whole big mistake about the way we are perceiving life. When it gets corrected, people think you are a mystic because you're beginning to perceive life in such a way that you can f never fit it into logic, it's way beyond logic. Logic is just a small part of your life, you can never fit life into it. You can fit logic into your life but never life into logic. When your experience of life has transcended the limitations of the sense perception, then you would be known as a mystic because you can make things happen in a way that others cannot understand, so they call you a mystic, which means they are admitting they are a mystic. <laughs> Nothing wrong in being a mystic, but not realizing the mistake is the biggest mistake. Because when we were born, our sense organs naturally opened up because that is needed for survival. I want you to know this, when you were in your mother's womb, though you had eyes, you could not see. Though you had ears, you could not hear. Otherwise you would know how it is inside. Only after you were born, at the moment of birth, your sense organs got opened up because that's necessary for your survival outside. That was not necessary for your survival in the womb. Only to survive in the world, the sense organs are a must, so they open up. But anything that is beyond survival, if it has to open up, it takes a little bit of striving. For example, suppose let's say, when you were born as an infant, you were left in a forest and you never came in touch with human societies. If something edible arrived in front of you, you would take this and stuff it into your ears. Is that so? You would know where to put this, isn't it? But would you know how to read, how to write, how to speak a language, would you know? No. That took some striving. Today, language is just flowing out of you like this, but I want you to go back when you were two, three years of age. They asked you to write the damn ye or a. Ah. Oh, what a complicated nonsense this was. You wrote it a thousand times to get it, isn't it so? Yes or no? Just the alphabet A. How many times did you write it before you got it right? Hundreds of times, isn't it? Because of that striving, today it flows like that. So anything that is beyond survival doesn't open up for you unless you strive. All the religions, all the spiritual traditions that you see on the planet are just this striving. Unfortunately, over a period of time, transmitting it from generation to generation, generation to generation, things get twisted out and end up being just a heap of rituals and belief systems. Otherwise, every one of them started off 
as human striving to know, human striving to experience, human striving to create well-being for himself. Somewhere it gets twisted out. Everybody who is a mystic is a potential mystic. If you are not a mystic, then you are a lost case. <laughs> you are a fanatic. <laughs> you think you are absolutely right on everything, you become fanatical. If you know that you are a mystic, then you are a potential mystic. <laughs>